Hi guys, thank you very much for clicking this video. So my name is Supriano and I'm going to talk about positionality in research. In this short video, I'm going to talk about what is positionality in research and why it is important. This is actually a topic that I've learned during my master's study, which honestly, I didn't learn when I was in my undergraduate studies. So I find it interesting and that is why I'm going to discuss about this today. Without further ado, let's get to the discussion. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the definition. So in its definition, I'm going to give you a definition given by Holmes in 2014, in which um, research positionality statement is defined as an essentially an explanation of how the researcher developed and how they become the researcher they are then. Um, it includes um, a description of the researchers' lenses, such as their philosophical, personal, theoretical beliefs, and perspective through which they view the research process. And I'll bet it looks easy. The process is actually not simple, especially for a novice researcher. Um, it needs what it calls as a reflexivity, that is, the researcher's self-assessment on how their background may impact the research process and the finding of the research. Okay, now we move to the second topic, which is why positionality is really important in a research. This is actually related to the role of the researcher, whether they are being an insider or an outsider. Milner in 2007 argued that it doesn't matter if you as a researcher becoming an insider or an outsider. But the most important thing is that you are aware that there is potential bias that uh, impact that from your background in doing the research process. For example, uh, if you are a Chinese and then you research about the Chinese culture, you need to explain that in your positionality statement because that way, the reader of your research will understand that there are some potential bias that coming from your background as a researcher into the research process and also the finding of the research. Well, I know that this is only a little explanation about this topic, but if you're really interested to learn more, you need to visit the two sources that I use here, as you can see here, or you can also see in the description box um, I also put there. And finally, I hope that this video uh, is helpful for you, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye!